This unboxing is going to be done a little bit differently in that I am not going to try and stand in front of the camera, but rather I'm going to just hold the camera and unbox it. So this is how this arrived. This is the Cooler Master Notepal Ergo Stand. Let's have a look at some of the features it boasts. First of all, it is for 9 inch to 17 inch notebooks. I guess that's quite the range. It has five adjustable angle stand, a 140 millimeter silent fan, a four port USB hub, and Desktop setup. Not quite sure what that is. This is obviously attention Linus. Not Linus's cat. Go away. Okay, and it comes with a 2010 product guide. So let's see what this includes. This is just kind of a random thing, but it's here, so we might as well have a look. So, uh, no, no, go away. Go away. Go away, cat. Okay, what do we got? I cannot figure out how this opens. This is pathetic. I'm trying to open this thing and I cannot figure Oh, it's because of the sticker. That's why I can't get it open. Now my phone's ringing. What a disaster. Oh, it's my parents. I better get this. Just waiting for my little brother to go get the cordless. So I thought I'd play with my cat. Hey, finally, they're having some problem with their internet. So obviously that's my responsibility somehow and not the cable companies, but whatever. Okay, so here we have a product guide which shows us some cases, the half series, the uh, 690 advanced and basic. This finally comes apart because I've got it figured out. It was like taped over all of the different folds. So they got all their coolers, their GX series power supplies. Cooler Master makes a lot of stuff actually. This is a really good cooler. I unboxed this at some point. It's like super cheap and super awesome. And they got all their fans, other more different fans, and finally, ah, Ergo Stand, there it is. So that's the one that we're actually looking at today. <clears throat> so here on the side we find not much, on the other side we find also not much. Here we go, here are all the features. Five angles, so you can adjust it depending on the ergonomics, hence the name Ergo Stand. It has movable anti-slip props. Mad props, yo. Cooling pad, okay, that's what it is. It has a four port USB hub, which we mentioned before with USB cable clips. So it has cable management, so you can hide the USB cables. Then you've got cable management handles, nice. 14 centimeter speed adjustable silent fan. You get laser vision, and it also has a desktop, it has desktop cooling application. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure it means something. Ergonomic design, more about ergonomic design. Okay, it's made of metal mesh, plastic, and rubber. It's the, oh, the fan, fan speed and fan noise. So the fan speed is 15 decibel. It is a rifle bearing fan. It runs at 700 to 1400 RPM, and it has a 40,000 hour mean time between failure. Let's get this box opened up here. Oh, I'm already zoomed out the maximum. Okay, I'm gonna stand a little bit to the side so that my, uh, my light can shine. So let's see what we got for accessories in here. Okay, first we have the USB cable. Is this thing still not focusing? Hold on, give me a sec. I think I'm having technical difficulties here. Oh no, there we go, it's focusing now. Okay, so here's the USB cable. It is a USB A to mini D cable. Very, very, very standard. Okay, nothing exceptional there. Then we have a user's manual along with the specifications. This probably has pretty much everything we already saw on the outside and warranty information. Thank you for purchasing. Uh, the warranty shall be void if. Uh, okay, I can't see how long it is, but you could always pause it and read through if you want. There we go. And now let's have a look at the Ergo stand itself. It comes nicely packed in foam. We've got some tape here that we're just gonna undo. And then we got these, whatever they are. Oh, uh, these look like they might be, oh, ooh, these are nice. So you got like a kind of a, it's a heavy plastic and it's got kind of a matte finish, and then it's got these little rubber feet on the bottom of it. They feel very quality. You know how you just sometimes you pick something up and you go, yeah, that feels quality. Well, that does. And the stand is not too bad itself, actually. So let's see. First of all, we're going to take this foamy bit off here. I may end up needing that manual, to be perfectly honest. Okay, so let's figure out how to adjust these. Right now, I do not know. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my camera though so that I can sort of look down a little bit more. Ah, okay, there we go, that was easy. So you just kind of snap it just like that. On the side, you will find a uh, volume control. 
probably fan speed. Yeah, fan speed. You'll find a power button as well as a plug. So this is powered by USB. And it, I, huh. That's funny. I don't see that cable. Interesting. Okay. Well, maybe this one was just missing it or maybe it's not included. I don't actually know. Let's go around to the other side where we will find a, the USB hub, which is not a powered hub unless you plug in power and then also a uh, USB cable. So, oh, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. It becomes a powered hub if you plug in power here, which you do not have to do, and it can just be a non-powered hub. That's fine. Okay, so here's how you do all of the five different adjustments. Okay, so you, all you have to do is you just kind of put it up like this, and then you move this metal bar, which feels very quality, by the way, and then you can set it at five different angles depending on how you want it to rest. So I would probably go with this angle if it was me. And then we've also got these feet here, which I will have to figure out how they work. Hmm. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Here we go. So these go in here, and then they can be adjusted either this way or that way, depending how big the notebook you want to put on here is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put them at the very maximum because the notebook that I'm going to put on here is a monster. This is a 17 inch notebook, which is the maximum that this thing can support. I'm also going to do some temperature testing shortly here, but I'm just going to go ahead. Oh man, it's heavy. I hardly picked that up with one hand. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the stand. There we go. Yeah, that like barely fits on there. So you can see that it's a little bit over the edges on either side but not unreasonably so i got access to all of my ports and then here i'm just i'm actually going to just take this and like put it on the floor or something because no no i can probably adjust it here okay so i'll take it and put it on its side right here there we go so now we can sort of see the angle that we're sitting at so this is designed so that when you sit at your desk you can have your wrists at a comfortable angle when you're using the keyboard or I mean, less comfortable, but I guess if you wanted to watch a movie or something, this would be ideal, my guess. Okay, there's your USB hub, so you can access that around the back of the laptop. Here's your cable management handles, is what they call them, so you can run the cables through there, no problem. And then uh, the fan is actually right here, right in the middle, so it's going to blow. Let me see how compatible it is with my laptop. It will blow directly onto my GPU fan, but we're only going to get incidental airflow on the CPU fan, which is here, right, yeah, forget it, it's right there, right under there. So yeah, I'll do some temperature testing shortly, and thank you for checking out my unboxing of the NotePal ErgoStand from Cooler Master.